Decorative threads are always kind of the fun part of a serger. You can add it to either of the loopers. It's traditionally where the, the decorative threads will go. You've got everything from like a woolly nylon, which stretches and then fluffs up and fills in your edges, variegated versions of that, pearl crown rayon. These thicker threads will fit through that little tiny eye of a looper because it's really not as tiny as it looks. It's much bigger than a needle eye. You can even do up to a 1 8 inch ribbon if you chose to. You can do this with a rolled hem. You can do this with a like a three thread overlock, which is what I'm going to do. You could put this in both loopers so you could have decorative thread on the top and decorative thread on the bottom, especially the woolly nylon. It's really soft if you did it on baby quilts or baby um, like receiving blankets. I'm going to just add it to where our blue thread, our upper looper is. I, since this is a little different cone size, well actually it does kind of fit in there, but eh, I'm going to take that off. Really doesn't need it. And I'll just tie it on to our thread here. We're already set up for a wide three thread overlock. So we have removed the right needle. The left needle is in. That's why we have the orange thread in here. It's going through the orange or yellow coloring. But I need to go ahead and pull this knot through. And if you need any help, what you want to do is go ahead and first take a hold of the chain and give it a little pull until you have individual threads showing. Then give it a little clip clip and then pull out the fake one because one of them is not supposed to be there. I got a hold of the blue one and it's just pulling all the way through. There's my knot. I'm already where I need to be and now I will get it set up. What we're going to do is we're just going to take some fabric here and we're just going to go along the edge. But what's going to happen is the serger doesn't know we've put decorative thread in that upper looper. So we need to lower the tension down, give it a little bit more opening to run through. The other thing we'll do is, is start to adjust the stitch lengths. How close do you want this to um, be? You can have it be all the way together so it creates like a satin stitch and change it as you go. There we go. We'll see what, whew, it's very solid here. Sometimes with decorative threads, what I'll do is, so I don't waste them, I'll trim those right after they come out. Whoa, look how, <laughs> really looks good actually. <laughs> and so what we are seeing, oh, and I have um, red thread in my lower looper. So this would be a great example where you're going to only see one side of it. It's not going to be a two-sided project where we could just match the thread or coordinate a thread to link, because it is linking along the edge here. As you could see when we started out that we had our stitch length a little longer. So we could see through here, but as soon as we took it all the way down to one, that's the beauty of the woolly nylon. <laughs> fills in nice. So if you wanted this to be soft on both sides, we could put woolly nylon also in the uh, lower looper. Of course, I don't have two reds, so what would you do? You could wind a bobbin or just buy two spools. If you wind a bobbin, you're going to have to keep an eye on it because it's going to go through it pretty fast. Or maybe just make it two-toned. Make it um, purple variegated on one side and red on the other and away you go. But yes, this is a fun edge to do. You just have to remember to adjust the tension a little bit less for your thicker threads to have room to run through the serger.